Hey guys, it's me Diana and I know you guys have been wondering where I have been but I have been working on myself for the new year and um, concentrating on what I want to do for this year of 2012 and also been trying to stay focused and you know on um, the things I need to do to actually get to a normal BMI. I am taking 2012 very serious and for the first week I was just really going gung-ho at everything and um, everything is like really really working and for most of you a lot of you guys know that I was uh, doing the Sacred Heart Diet and uh, on the Sacred Heart Diet um, I lost five pounds on the Sacred Heart Diet, and I, I totally understand why I didn't have a big loss, but five pounds was uh, great for me because I'm so close to where I want to be, and I'm actually under my goal weight, And um, but anyway, um, five pounds was like really, really good for me, and um, you know, my body is back at its lowest that it has um, ever been, which you guys have seen, I did my... I've been putting up my post of me getting on the scale and everything, and I am back at 143 pounds. Um, my goal was 150 pounds, but I wanted some playroom. I really wanted to get to like 145. I've did that and gone down, but my BMI still is um, high, still saying that I'm overweight. So what I'm doing now is I am chasing a healthy BMI, and um, it looks like I might have to go between... Um, 136 and 138 now I don't know if I'm going to go ahead on to do that um, the other day I went to go and pick up a couple of pieces for the photo shoot that I'm actually doing the photo shoot was supposed to be like I thought it was on tomorrow but it's not it's gonna be on Thursday and all of my sixes are falling off they are way too big I only lost five pounds but I lost so many inches I did not um, measure myself but I lost a lot of inches and I am in the four, and I, and I kid you not, in the four pants, how my butt is and stuff, I have that much room that's sticking from around my waist in the size four. It's like I could just put my hand down in the size four. Um, I was going to put them on, but I'm in here with Ayana in her room, and she's sleeping, not feeling good. So, But anyway, um, the fours are too big in the waist. I, I just cannot believe that. My butt holds them up well, very well. So I can get in fours now, but I would have to um, take them and get them altered. Um, fours are too big on my waist. I cannot believe that. I just can't believe it. One thing I don't want, I really don't want to be like a size two or anything like that. And I know after I get my tummy tuck and all that, it, my, my waist is going to be tiny. Uh, very very tiny with the way that the four is fitting now um, but like I said in every other way my thighs and my butt the four is perfect it, it is perfect but the waist is a no-go the the four does not fit my waist is too big so anywho um, that's it um, some of the things with me yes I'm at 143 pounds do I plan on doing the Sacred Heart Diet again yes I will probably be altering the Sacred Heart Diet, and I'm altering the Sacred Heart Diet because I want to do it, not because what you guys think I should do. Um, I'm doing it because that's what I want to do. I'm still eating healthy and everything, and I'm getting in my calories. I'm getting in um, my exercise like crazy. Um, and I'm going to be jumping all over the place in this video. Um, I'm also seeing a lot of people about the things that they want to do at um, because of the new year and all this stuff they're gonna do this right here and that and yet but I'm also seeing a lot of people already falling off the bandwagon you know at this new year I mean we're just in the second week of the new year and some people are already falling off I mean I've always said um, reach out to somebody so somebody can throw you a lifeline it's too many of us out here for someone to be falling off this early in the game in the second week and you know um, I think for some of you guys that has been in the game long enough I don't feel sorry for you if you're not losing. Um, I I did watch one of the videos with one of the girls. I don't forget what her name is. And um, how she was saying that she wasn't feeling sorry for people that was actually eating bad and not losing or whatever. I'm at that point, though, too. If you've been in the game long enough, come on. Come on now. You know, I, get with the program. I mean, you know the reason why you're not losing. You know what you're doing. Just get back on the bandwagon and go. Um, uh, 
some people was asking me, I've been getting questions about how much weight can I contribute to losing on the Sacred Heart Diet. Um, I can roughly say really quick off the top of my head, and I just wanted to throw a number out there without adding everything else. I can get a Sacred Heart Diet about 30 pounds. I can do that um, from all the times that I have actually did it. I can just jump and, and just throw that number out there, and I feel safe with it. Um, yes, I can give it about 30 pounds. Um, I've done the Sacred Heart Diet so many times, and every single time I have lost. Um, I am grateful for the Sacred Heart Diet. That is something that I can actually do and feel uncomfortable with. The first couple of days, it seems kind of hard, but when you have all this support and all these people in the group that, you know, that are supporting you, it makes it a little bit easier, especially planning the early meals. Um, on one of the videos that I put up today, one of the wig videos, the Cambridge Girl, I was uh, asked by a Navy wife. She was asking me about what color was I using. I had picked up, a, um, this is called um, Chalk Indigo. And I had picked this up. This is CoverGirl, if you can see this. I got it um, at Kroger. And where you are down there, you're in Jacksonville down there with my parents. So you can also get this from Winn-Dixie. So, uh, I want to sit here and say, um, when Dixie on Moncrief, not sure, but I don't know how close you are or whatever, but anyway, uh, yeah, you can get it over that way or somewhere over there in Orange Park. So, but anyway, when Dixie carries it too. So, um, I am now in a true four. My six pants are too big. Not only that, one of the engineers told me on Friday at work, it was like, how much weight are you losing? Your pants are too big. Because I had on my sixes then at work. He was like, your pants are too big. It's like, yeah. So, anyway, my husband is on board with me um, chasing a healthy uh, BMI. We did speak about my weight loss, and Miss Jane um, was, uh, you know, a good ear, you know, for me to actually uh, talk to. And, um, so anyway, we talked about my weight loss and my BMI and everything. And so, and I spoke to her and I felt better. But anywho, um, my husband is on board with me and, um, getting to a normal BMI. But once I get to that normal BMI, uh, that's it. Uh, that's it. He wants to call it quits. And I'm okay with that. My husband has been, um, supportive from day one. From day one. I have a great husband, an outstanding husband. Um. Then, so, for my goal, I said that I wanted to do a thousand miles of stone mountain. You know, this, let's, let's scratch that. I want to do, I'm going to change that. I want to do 300 miles at Stone Mountain. And anything else over that um, is going to be a great accomplishment for that. So, anyway, with that being said, so my husband took me out and got me some more shoes. You guys can see. I, um, I really like them. They're really, really light. These are dual fusions. Um, Nike, if y'all can see that, and um, to start off my goal, and now, so he's saying, you know, because my feet, you guys have seen, I'm trying to put a picture up, you guys have seen where I've had like blisters all over my toes before from running, 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 and then you know, my shoes and all that stuff. Shoes can be cute on the outside, guys, but if you run and work out a lot, like how I want to say some of us do, Banded Wendy, um, Sky Moon, uh, LBJ Nika, um, uh, Connie, uh, a lot of us out here, how we how we work out, Rebecca and all them, a lot of us do a lot of hard, hard working out, and we need to change our shoes. So, um, my husband is now saying, you know, he wants me to change my shoes like every three months. But within that being said, I am going to now have three pair of sneakers that I'm going to be doing in rotation of my workouts. And then every three months, I'm going to be switching sneakers. Um, I will add in a new pair, you know, of the rotation. And so um, until I rotate them all out, then they'll be new like that. So my husband is going to be keeping track of that, how that is. And... As you can see, um, I got my Nike Plus on my shoe um, for some of those programs, though, too. And thank you to all my new subscribers that are coming on board. And um, I really appreciate you guys for following me on this um, journey. And I don't want you guys to think that it has just been, you know, downhill my weight loss. 
I have been in stalls and had plateaus for like a month or so, wouldn't lose anything. And um, I don't always eat perfect. I don't want you guys to think that I, you know, that I've always eaten perfect. Uh, no, but do I weigh my food and do I know when to stop? Now, yes, that I have done. I know when to stop. Um, I don't like getting stuck. I don't like that feeling. I don't like the dizziness and throwing up and all that. I, I don't like that. So I will stop when I need to stop. But um, have I went out and just played and had fun? Yes. Have I had alcohol? Yes. But I I hardly ever drink, you know. But I do drink. But, I, I you know, I don't drink a lot. So um, I have fell off the bandwagon many, many, many of times. Many of times. And I'm coming up on my February the 26th will be three years for me on this um, journey. And it's been many a times that I have fell off the bandwagon. But I'm going to tell you, when I fall off, I don't fall off for like, you know, three and four days. Hell no. I might fall off for like a day. A day going into almost two days. But nah. Because I can eat whatever junk I want. My stomach is so small. I can eat whatever, all the junk I want right within then. And then just be done with it because I don't want that feeling. But I have fallen off the bandwagon. But I get back on. And then um, I also had an email, yes, of this person that don't even have uh, videos. I went to go and check their page. They don't have videos. And they asked me, do I think that having surgery was worth it? Um, hell yeah, I think it was worth it. And, um, you know, they were saying, you know, was I fearful of, of weight gain? And I'm going to say this right here. It will always be in the back of anybody's mind that we can gain weight. But it is no way in the hell that I had this surgery and, you know, I put my life on the line that I'm going to sit here and gain back the weight. Hell no. I've done this too many times. And not only that, we sit here and we say that oh, we've done everything and all this stuff right here and it didn't work and all that. You're right. We did all of these, um, these different diets, Jenny Craig. Weight Watchers, all this stuff. We did all this stuff and it didn't work. It didn't work because we didn't let it work. These things work. It's just that us, the mental game, got the best of us and we did not finish it. Now, within all of these diets whatsoever in this whole entire world, the least common denominator is us. It's us. So, with this being me going to have this surgery... This time, I was not going to fail. I fall off the bandwagon, but I kept getting back up. And it's been three years that I've been falling off and getting back up. Years. But this is my life. And this time, I'm going to do it right. So, let this thing work for you. Let it work. And so, um, I just wanted to share this all, share this with you guys today. Yes, my surgery was worth it. Yes, I'm fearful of weight gain. That's why I bust my ass and I keep working out. And um, this time, I will not fail. I will not fail. In 2012, I'm bringing it. And I'm bringing it hard. You guys is not going to see me on here saying, you know, um, I just don't know what to do. I reach out to people. I mean, you know, I was having a problem before. And I talked to patients. Patients told me what to do. And bam, I just, the pounds started dropping in that week. I will reach out. Just because I'm black candy don't mean that everything goes right for me. It does not. You know, I need help too. Let somebody throw you a lifeline if you need a lifeline. And I needed a lifeline. I had to reach out to some people. I reached out to Miss Jane. I reached out to um, Winsong. And these people come through for you. Don't just sit there and sulk. Guys, don't just sit there and be like, you know, uh, you know, I did this today, but it's okay. No, that shit ain't okay. Because tomorrow you're going to be on Facebook and on YouTube saying that, I gained weight. That shit ain't okay. So before you put this shit in your damn mouth, think about it's not okay. You know, you're not going to have a loss. And know why that you did not have a loss. You know what I'm saying? Own up to it. Right. Guys, have a great week. You know, do you. Do what's right. Hang on. Keep pushing. Keep fighting. Go win. Talk to you guys later. I love you. Bye.